Hey everybody, Super Sport Rider here, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, there's my Park Zone Sport Cub. It was buried, man, on the maiden day. It sucked. I'm gonna post a clip of the video. And just now, she went through that friggin' puddle over there and sprayed all kinds of crap all over my paint job and all my shit. But she's doing real well. I got the, uh, still got the 480 motor in there and the 18 amp. But I put this bigger prop on there. It helps out a whole lot. This is a prop from the Extra. I love this prop for all kinds of E-Flight motors. Like the BL-15, the 480. Brings out a little life in them. It's 10 by 5. Gives a little more diameter. By 9. It, it works well on this plane. And the ESC wasn't even hot when I took it back out. It's got enough flow. It's sitting right in the front over there. So I painted it up. Looks pretty good. I lost my decal here. Braced the S. I don't like that ass anyway. I braced this all up and placed it. That, that's flush now. That's the way that should look anyway. Pathetic. They give you a little crack back there and garbage. So let's take it up. Sat it up in the air before. It was nice. And I'm running 2200s in here. Yes, sir. Okay. I did put the flaps in here. It weighs it down a little bit. My flaps. What did I use? I used a Vision Air Sero. It's a real big one. Kind of waste the flaps on this plane because it does land a little fast, but it's alright. Let's get a low early. This is how I bury this thing. Doing rolls with it and shit. Close to the ground. See it flops like that? Not the plane to the rolls with close to the ground at all. I was, you know, I got a little spoiled plane, 3D stuff, and uh, I lost, I lost my cool with the steering wheel racket. But I didn't spend a dime really fixing it. I spent a lot of money fixing all my shit, and it cost me about 50 bucks in paint and plaster and sandpaper, all kinds of shit. You might as well just order stuff, and it, took, it cost me a long time. A lot of aggravation, making it look like it does, and fly like it does. So sometimes it don't, it does not pay. It's just order. There's rudder ring to the right. By itself. A big snap, man. A big snap will get you in trouble down there. Very nice fly, though, back and forth like that, you know? You can keep it low with it. Yeah. Snap it around too much. This rudder get you in trouble in this plane. What a crazy shit it does. My lower it down a bit. See what I did? I did lower it down. I had it on the most inner control horn on the rudder when I uh, buried it. I, I removed it. I put it on the outside one. I think they give you two two positions. Oh, great today. I have these batteries sitting around in my house for a while and it's not good. I just haven't had a chance to fly around. Let's put the flaps on the sucker. Flaps on. I dialed the elevator down. I stopped climbing when I put the flaps on. It's kind of perfect. It flies level. Full throttle, regular. I'm flying with flaps right now. I see how it just comes in with no gas. No throttle anyway. I say gas. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. With the wind, come back now. Gas it, gas it, gas it, gas it. Lose it. No throttle at all. It just carries its speed. It's heavier than it should be. This plane, I know that. My plane is heavier than everyone else's sport car, being all the bodywork, hot glue, paint all over it. And I bet you it's actually slicker. Has less friction in the air than you know, than a stock one. 
look at that enamel shine on it, enamel. You think a prop might be carrying it through the air? Flaps are on right now. Flaps off. Hoorah, baby! Super sport rider style, isn't it? Yeah, so I lost it last time, you know, being super sport ride styling. What are you gonna do, man? That's why I think it. Someone else might have done something ridiculous where I says, I'm gonna save this son of a bitch. Tell me what I wanna do every time I land this plane, land it a mile away from me. Where I'm, it's where I'm flying this plane right now. Gotta clear that right there. I mean, it seems like enough room to me. It should be better. I'm just rusty. Right. Look at it. it. Looks pretty true from here. I thought these wheels on this plane were uh, like hard plastic. They come nice and shiny and they're very hard. If you done whaling them on runways and this and that, they start getting a little softer. You can tell that they're foam actually. They might not get so much of a bounce that people complain about on this plane. That's why I don't like the way with the flaps either, because it it, um, it it bounced a lot on me with the flaps. It's getting so much less. You can see they're squishy now. And that puddle just pissed me off so much, man. Because sometimes this, this foam likes to get stained. That's all right. We know the white paint. It's another thing with the white paint. It's much better than the foam. This is a little enamel up to the sticker right here. Enamel paint. Rock and rolls for uh, these paints. Oil-based enamel paint. Awesome. Okay, Super Sport Rider out.